Alright, here we are. Halfway through my little training session. Um, predictions. Predictions for the big, big Arm Fight 50 in Rumi, Poland. November 17th and 18th. It's a really, really deep card. And I'll go through my brief thoughts on all the matches. Okay. Uh, Oleg Zak versus Vitaly Lalatin. Uh, Oleg has been super hot, super dominant. Uh, right now, I think he's down as the number one lefty. Which, now, I'll say before I get started, everybody, every single athlete in Arm Fight 50 is totally awesome okay and I really have mass respect for each one of them but when comparing them I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to to give you my honest assessment so I don't think that Oleg should be ranked number one lefty and my reasons for saying that are he took that title um, in Moldova and I feel like Moldova was thrown together really quickly. So in terms of like, you know, it being, it's, it's almost more like he won it on an exhibition. Uh, not to take anything away from Moldova because Moldova was amazing, but uh, I feel like, I feel like, well, I know that Andre is, I feel like he might need surgery. So, I don't even think that Andre is the real number one. I don't know who the real number one is, but I don't think it's either one of those two because I, in fact, think that Vitaly Lalatin is going to win. I think Vitaly is really the, if not, well, I think he's the best talent to come out of Russia in the past maybe, maybe decade. Um, I think that Vitaly is just too good that's what I think I know that uh, I know that it, it'll be close but I see Vitaly's potential as being just so high and he I feel like he's just now as good as he's been already he's just now starting to come into his own so I think Vitaly's gonna win that um, but I think it'll be a really good match and um, uh, I will say without extreme conviction for two Vitaly Lalatin. Uh, Dave Chafee versus Gennady Kvikvinia. Um, love to watch Gennady arm wrestle. The guy puts more heart and soul into the matches than almost... Well, he's, he's, he's got such great fight. When that match stops and he just blows up, uh, I love watching it. Like, when he knows he's going to win, it's very, very awesome. But... Again, here's another guy. I think he's hurt. I think, like, I've, well, I don't know, the last year or so, I've, I feel like I've watched a bunch of videos when Vitaly's deep in, sunk, and boom, something clearly lets loose. And I'm thinking that I saw that at Moldova. And I also think that Dave is really, really strong. And... I think that this one is going to go 6-0 Dave Chafee. Uh, Malin and Marlena. Uh, two super kick-ass blonde Northern European women. Um, really, really great match. I think it's quite close. I think that Marlena has the edge in terms of inside strength if the match stops I think Malin's got a lot of pop in her and she's just hot off that um, win at the Worlds where it looks like she got through unscathed and looks like her head's in a good place so I'm gonna go with Malin and again I think it it could be close I think if it goes straps I don't know uh, could be closer but I'll go I'll go 4-2 Malin 
and we'll fast forward a bit. Uh, the most decorated middleweight, I'd say, of all time, Rustin Babayev, who's shown over the last uh, few years repeatedly that um, when it comes to being the very, very best in the world, weight doesn't have as much to do with it as we may believe. You know, bigger is normally better, but this guy is so, so good at the size that he is. Uh, I've been watching tournaments over the last years, last year, and I feel like I've, I've seen him beat Dimitri Trubin repeatedly. Um, I feel like I've seen him damn near beat Oleg in the left. Um, anyways, I feel like this guy is just a crushing machine. Uh, and then there's Tim Bresnan. The, the very, very best chronic underdog of all time. I don't think that there's a match that anybody ever thinks that Tim's going to win. Uh, but he always does. <laughs> I know firsthand how how strong Tim Bresnan is. So this match for me is particularly interesting. Um, and uh, I don't really want to call this one. I think that this might be, this could be the best match for me. It's 3-3. I feel like you have the absolute very best of the middleweights against um, a guy who's capable of beating anybody, but for some reason... Uh, is the chronic underdog. So, yeah, both guys have a lot to prove on this one. So I'll go 3-3 uh, with Babayev and Bresnan. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> the king of strength. The guy who has ruled in a partnering strength sport, the bench, uh, you know, Scott Mendelson stepping into the arm wrestling world uh, against Alex Kurdecha. And I know I've I've actually I've gotten the I've had the pleasure to to train with Scott quite a few times in the last uh, couple years. And I know that his potential is clearly as high as he wants it to be but I also know that it takes time no matter who you are and Alex has been just on a rampage like uh, he's he's been really really killing it the last six months I don't know what physical condition Scott is in exactly but I tend to lean towards Alex on this one love you Scott but I uh, gotta keep it real, and uh, Scott's gotta be the underdog. I, I, I'll tell you, this whole last year of betting on the WAL matches, I'm like under 50%. Yeah, Bob Brown. Uh, but, so, so this is just my opinion. I'll go Kurdecha, 6-0. Okay, uh, next, huge, huge match. Um, we got Dimitri Trubin versus Levan. And I'm going to butcher your last name, Levan. Levan Schneggerschlevy. Schneggerschlevy. Love the guy. What a tank. Uh, so, really, you got the guy who is the hottest up-and-comer Levan I mean I think everybody who's been watching this guy uh, thinks that this may in fact be the dude right now um, but here's here's the thing I feel like right now um, the whole rankings issue having Dave ranked number one in the world while there is a kind of a very twisted logic to to get me to believe that and while it may be true uh, to me Dimitri Trubin 
you know, if you're gonna rank Oleg number one on the left for beating Andre, well, then by similar logic, you have to rank Dmitry Trubin number one in the right hand. He beat, did he not beat Andre in Moldova in the, in the right hand class? Looked pretty convincing to me, looked, looked pretty awesome. Uh, so to me right now, uh, if, you know, to beat the man, to, to be the man, you got to beat the man. And Dimitri beat, Dimitri beat Andre straight up. So to me, this match is the number one ranked dude in the world in my books, Dimitri, versus the guy who may in fact be the new rising star, Levan. And I'm going to say... I'm going to say Dimitri on this one, just primarily due to experience. And I'll say it's going to be a really great match, but I'm going to go Dimitri 5-1. Uh, okay, so who do we got? We got Rustem. We got... Okay, all right. <laughs> These guys have done it many times before. Big Dennis and Andre Pushkar. So you got probably the dude with the most refined singular movement in arm wrestling, the most explosive and the most perfect ace of spades in Andre Pushkar. Uh, his drive to the pad uh, on the ready go, I, I really believe is unmatched in the sports history. His right hand, his right hand drive to the pad is it's 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 damn near perfect, uh, and he's shown that over how many world championships, over how many Nemiroffs. You know, if you get this guy in a tournament, uh, you know, sorry for your arm, Dennis Saplankov, the guy who is just, you know, the incarnation of the Incredible Hulk walking on the planet. Uh, and they've got a long history. And the history looks like, uh, you know, for the most part, leaning towards Dennis. Uh, for the most part, in the straps, Dennis is just, just so strong. Hard to get around all those parts. And endurance becomes a factor. And, uh, you know, but Andre has looked better the last couple years he's remained in the game while Dennis uh, and I'm gonna say that a break in arm wrestling is normally never never a bad thing for a guy who's training hard like if you're training hard like I really don't think that you need to compete all the time I think you can continue to grow and get better you know without high level competition so that's not a massive factor for me but Andre has shown that he's continued to grow over the last few years in Dennis's absence. So I think it's a really another super super awesome match. And I'm really loath to call it because I really believe it can go either way. Um, but I'm going to say it's going to go 4-2 because I will have bled that big man out so much the day before <laughs> okay so the last one is of course um, you know Friday night Dennis and myself lefty uh, and you know obviously I'm really biased in these this prediction um, Dennis from everything, that I, I feel like when he was like a baby, he might have lost to Ivan Matyushenko, but I can't seem to find the footage anymore. Uh, I don't think he's lost left-handed in recent history. I can't find a single video. I know that he lost one time to Andre Pushkar in an A1, and then he kind of woke up and put him in the straps and beat him twice. I haven't seen Dennis lose. Um... Yeah, <laughs> so not a lot of research. Uh, Dennis is the biggest challenge that I've faced in my career. 
uh, in terms of strength and magnitude of uh, of just a guy's raw potential on an arm wrestling table. I uh, I have tr- I have trained really really hard. I really have. Um, we both got alerted about this match about six months ago. I did a right hand season. Uh, with the WAL, but the whole time I was working my left. I was working it. I was building it back up. Um, in the past six months, I think you could ask anybody that I train with, um, my left has taken big bounds. I remember it's like May, and I'm hanging out with Matt Mask in. Edmonton, and we're messing around left hand, and he's looking at me, and he's like, Dev, and he's like, are you sure? Are you sure you're going to be able to do this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, buddy. I got this. So I have worked hard. Um, My left is different than my right. I have a lot of tools. Uh, I don't want to get too much into the match, like what I'm going to do and what my training was. Um, You know, uh, I'm sure that I have another opportunity to tell you all about that, <laughs> but but I'm gonna say that um, if I win, and that's what I'm seeing, uh, it's not easy. There's no easy. I don't have an easy move to get around Dennis. Um, for me to win, it's gonna be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears on that table. Uh, but we're close. We're close. What are we in like? It's the 29th of October, so 17th. So I don't know. Somebody who can do math, it's like less than 20 days, I think. Um, all right, guys. I hope you tune in, Armbets TV, and watch me crush this Dennis Chernobyl, you know? And it's going to be a great card. Can't wait to see you all there. Um, First time going to Poland. Power.